Yesterday, there were protests outside the Supreme Court as they heard arguments about whether federal discrimination laws protect gay and transgender workers as well. Now, the conservative argument, uh, apparently, is that civil, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 wasn't talking about protecting people based on sexual orientation, so it's up to Congress to pass a new law. It is 2019. I mean, one would think that as we found discrimination, we would say, under this umbrella, you're not allowed to discriminate against people. Right. Yeah. It should, I mean, the, I, you know, we've made very specific laws about uh, uh, hate crimes, mm -hmm. you know, and there, it's very spelled out in there. So I don't understand why the civil rights uh, law of 1964, which was put in place because people needed a law to say, don't do this. Right. It's not okay. We're telling you as a nation to quit hanging people. Well, 93% in the Gallup poll of Americans say that they're for equal rights in the workplace, just as you described. Mm -hmm. so the Who court, are the other seven? The court, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm yeah. not saying that people to be funny. I'm genuinely homophobes, curious. Homophobes, people who are, you know, maybe it... religiously against it. I don't know. But it would be tragic now that we, we have gay marriage, so you can get married, but you can't work. Yeah. That it's, doesn't make sense. It doesn't make You're sense. You're not protected. But most, yeah, but that has to be changed. 50% mm -hmm. of yeah. Americans already thought that federal law protected sexual yeah. orientation. I did. Myself included. Yeah, yeah. most people, 50% th think it, but federal law has never protected sexual orientation. Except as a hate crime. Ex well, except as a hate crime, only, but no, yeah. not yeah. under Title VII. Yeah. 21 states have enacted laws to protect work discrimination against people based on that. By the way, one of them is on, not uh, Arizona, and my son yeah. is bisexual. Yeah. So, Kristen Sinema. Right. Isn't that something? Arizona, we have the first bisexual senator uh, ever in our yeah. state. Um, it's been the 50th anniversary since Stonewall. Yeah. World Pride this year, mm -hmm. I think, was such a big celebration for so many people because of the historic, it's always historic, but particularly 50th anniversary. Right. I can't, when this topic is brought up this morning, I can't even believe this is something we're still talking oh, yeah. about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were it's, very surprised that, I was, it's, not, that it's not protected a lot of people, in the workplace. A lot of people are, and there, a lot of it's people not. are not aware that this is happening. And for me, it's a slippery slope. Mm -hmm. Either we're protecting those who need protection as we discover them, yeah. or we're not, and none of us are protected. Yeah. So we have to decide. This is not about, this is no longer just about black people. It's about women. It's about gay people. It's about transgender folks. It's about people who identify however they identify. This is America, where you could come and be whoever you need to be. And that is the beauty <laughs> of this country. This is not, and this is no knock to religious people. You also, religious people, are free to believe what you want right. to believe. I feel if you are in service, you, and you don't want to wait on black people or gay people, or, you know, people are going to say to you, then you shouldn't be in service. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to get another kind of gig. We used to live very well together with all our different religious beliefs without this idea that somebody was pooping on somebody's religious beliefs because they believe differently. This is America. That's why they left England. <laughs> they came here so they could For practice that. whatever religion they wanted to be, whoever they wanted to be. And just because it's not in the history books doesn't mean it didn't happen or wasn't happening. You know, Whoopi, I think what, was a, what you said earlier, um, uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg sort of alluded to your point earlier because she said when in 1964 when the Civil Rights Act was passed, no one thought that they would be talking about sexual harassment yes. under Title VII. That's right. And then 20 years later, sexual harassment cases That's were right. brought under yes. Title VII. People yes. were thinking it was really more race-based. So I really think now you, it makes perfect sense for sexual orientation to be covered under Title VII because the, the law should be changed. What are the arguments that say a Gorsuch well, actually, might Well, I've heard the opposite argument yeah. of Obese, that there's a slippery slope the other way, that then there yeah. are protections over bathrooms and you get into all these other things that aren't written in this law. Right. I, I think, what? I, I think that, that, you can't... that you should have a bathroom that represents everybody, that it just, it, it complicates it. That's not where well, I stand. This said, is what another yeah. argument yeah. I've yeah. heard it is. said something like that, but right. he said there's going to be this big societal upheaval. But what doesn't make sense to me is this type of law has been passed in 21 states and in yeah. two territories, Guam and Puerto Rico. I didn't see any big social you, upheaval you included, anywhere else. I'm and very Utah. proud. I will yeah. say, so I went to... precedent for it. One of my best friends got married last weekend. Way to weekend. go, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, come on, got a way to go. Yeah. Right.